Right now we are in a 2,600 square foot apartment with a very open living room and dining room and kitchen. When we first moved in, it was a disaster. Um, the couple that had lived here before had very different tastes than we did. My name's Rebecca. Thank God I hired a designer. So I knew that I needed a decorator, and I had read about Fawn Galley in Domino Magazine in a story on 10 decorators to watch in the new year. This space was one of the worst spaces I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It was full of old wood furniture, burgundy colors, dark leathers, and it just felt heavy and old and depressing. I knew that we wanted a space that was comfortable for a family with two small kids, but I didn't want the children to dominate the space. I always try and make them go a little bit further than they would normally do, and I think that that's what they're hiring me to do. Originally, I was not that into the hot pink thing at all. I think she was unsure about the hot pink. I convinced her to put it in her living room and in her, incorporate it into her interior. Within like one meeting with Fawn, she had convinced me. She said that they love pink and they use it all the time. Hot pink has this kind of, it can be preppy, but then it can be like kind of sexy and fun. It's hot pink and fuchsia. It's not like a girly pink, it can be like an urban living room. We like to entertain, specifically have families over for brunch, so we needed a place that we could, you know, host people and did not feel overrun with toys and high chairs. I mean, this is basically the public space to have all of their needs and reflect all of their personalities. My husband found the table at an environmentally friendly furniture store. He convinced all of us. It was his idea, the table, and I, and I think it's great. We get lots of compliments on it. brown sofas were really meant as a backdrop. I try and balance the dark and the light. I mean, that's obviously in the brown carpet, going to pull some of the light out of the room. These are all vintage chairs from eBay, these chairs, and we reupholstered them. The light was selected to have a modern feeling to it and set the tone. This is a modern family. Bow Concepts is also in our building, and they basically designed these bookshelves. We gave them the measurements, and they laid them out on the, on the computer. I don't think that I have better taste than other people. It's just I've been doing it for so many years, so I learn from my mistakes. I think it's important to have an interior that makes sense, that tells a story, especially in, in kind of urban living where it's so crazy and frenetic. If you can come into your home and feel like it's kind of soothing if it all makes sense. I had so many pages pulled from magazines of different inspirations for the apartment, paint colors, fabrics, couches I liked, that I had no idea how to pull it all together. Thank God I hired a designer. Are you a social media darling? Do you like to hang out on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or even Tumblr? If so, you can check us out at all those places, or of course, you can just click subscribe right here to see what we got going on.